Hi everyone, it's me Ange from The Daily Diet. Really quick update of what's going on in my world. Uh, the three challenges that I've given myself as of the first, um, one is convenience store. Now, I have not shopped at any convenience store since the first of the month, so I've been doing really well, other than to purchase fuel for my car. I actually pay at the pump, that way I'm not tempted by any gums or, or sodas or candy bars or anything like that. The second one is fast food. I haven't shopped at any fast foods, no Burger Kings, McDonald's, no Betos, no, you know, no nothing at all um, since the first of the month, which is really good for me. Except for on the 8th, which was yesterday, um, we are having a shower put in, or we had a shower put in, and of course he was going a little bit slower than I thought. I thought that they would send like two or three guys to go work on my shower, but they sent one guy. So what should have taken taken um, two or three hours to do, it took him like five and a half or something like that. It took him a, a while. Anyways, um, so by the time he got done, he said, yeah, I got a couple seconds left. And I said, good. I said, Alex, you need to take care of this. Alex is my daughter. Um, it was already paid for, so all he had to do is grab his stuff and leave. So I grabbed my backpack, threw it in my car, ran down Bangator, um, and uh, seriously, like two minutes away from work, I looked down and realized I didn't have my lunch. So I had to go to On The Fly, which is in Terminal 2, and I looked around and they had vegetable soup. Vegetable soup is not nearly my favorite, but you know what, it'll do in a pinch. The one problem that I had was I had two pieces of wheat bread with it, and the total came to $7.49. I'm sorry, for something that normally would cost me a dollar at Walmart if I bought it in a can of Campbell's or whatever it is, $7 is just crazy. And that's one of the reasons why I'm on this challenge, is all that money could have been saved for Christmas, or life changes or whatever is coming into my future. The third one is clean eating. Clean eating. Now clean eating has been doing really well. A couple times I've faltered, but it's been honest mistakes. Um, like I will have a turkey sandwich, but instead of, you know, on a wrap, I've been having it with wheat bread. Can't have wheat bread. So it didn't occur to me that I was actually cheating and yeah, um, I would have salad and I'd have blue cheese dressing and unfortunately I can't have blue, che cheese, blue cheese dressing so unfortunately once again I screwed up. So there was a couple falters that I've done um, and then of course tonight my family decided to go to Domino's and then they came in and they said oh well we got you a pizza without any tomato sauce. It's for you that way you won't have any problems. Now, I had to kind of think about this later on and I went, I'm not the one that has tomato problems, so I don't understand what that was all about. So basically, um, they brought bread with cheese and chicken home. Uh, it sounds like cheese bread to me, but I could be wrong. Um, I did actually have one ham and one piece of chicken, so I did falter on that, but it's not really fast food. That's Domino's. That's dinner. That's, but still, it's still not clean eating. That being said, I've cheated on two of my three challenges. And starting tomorrow, of course, I'm starting brand new. And every time I screw up, I'll start brand new the next day. Um, other than that, nothing's really going on. Oh, my injuries. Um, I went to my doctor uh, he gave me Loratab in an Aproxen cocktail and said, go home, have a great time, take it easy for a month. Okay. Didn't tell me to stay home from work, so that was all good. Um, because I don't like to stay home. Um, I continued working. A month went by. It never got better. I was getting really frustrated. Um, so I called him back up and I said, listen, this is what's going on. Excuse me, I got the hiccups now. Um, and he goes, well, let me get you another prescription for Loratab and Naproxen. I'm like, no, it's not getting better. And he goes, well, just give it another month. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to give it another month. So I forced myself to convince him to get me an MRI, which I shouldn't have to do. I'm sorry, I'm paying for insurance. I'm paying for him to give me what I need for my body. Well, thank goodness I did that. 
Um, I went down for an MRI and come to find out my ACL, my MCL, and a muscle is ripped. Now the muscle is, that runs where my leg is is approximately five inches and it's actually ripped three and a quarter inches across. So I almost lost my entire muscle. Um, still, that being said, uh, it's surgery. Yeah. So I had to go back to my boss, explain to what happened. We had to fill out the workman's comp stuff. Yes, it should have been done prior to that, but with him being busy and me being busy, we, we just never connected, you know, our schedules. Um, we had to fill it back out, and guess what that does? I have to go to workman's comp doctors tomorrow. Are you kidding me? I know. Um, thank goodness it's a walk-in care, so I can just walk in at any time, get that taken care of. But I know what that's going to mean. He's going to give me naproxen and Loratabs and say, go home for a month. And I'm going to have to step up and go, uh, I've already had the MRI. I already know what's going on. Uh, let's get this taken care of. So I'm a little bit frustrated about that. Um, so that's what's going on in my life. What's going on in your guys? Um, I was really happy to come back to my channel and to find out that I think I only lost one subscriber. Um, I was really surprised that for the Hot for Halloween, as soon as that was done, they didn't go click, 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 delete, delete, delete. So that was really cool. Um, who else? Uh, somebody, oh, Pink Candy Hearts. She did a shout out video for me. Um, not really for me, she just kind of mentioned me in her video which was awesome. Girl, I think you are an amazing artist. I absolutely think you should do the makeup thing. I don't care if you don't do it legitimately, you know. I don't care if you're using the little, of course I don't have any of them, but you know the little puffy thingies that come here. I don't care. Um, you know, my makeup, I have a ton a ton, a ton. I have one of those Sterilite um, Rubbermaid kind of thing that I got at Walmart for like seven bucks. Has the three drawers. Wonder if I can get one of them out. But yeah, just to show you what's going on. This, minus the brushes, this is my makeup. Don't fall. Yeah. And this is just one drawer. Um, with the makeup that I have, because I'm trying to convince her to do a makeup channel. If not do a makeup channel, just make it on her channel. Um, which of course, again, is Pink Candy Hearts. Um, but yes, I mean, we're talking, I got the ultra expensive for this one tube. It's $75 down to the Rimmel, which was like $3. And of course I got Bobby Brown and I got um, more Bobby Brown. I mean, I have everything in here, and half the stuff I have, I've actually gotten for free, and they are brand new. They've never been used. So, um, that being said, I have a ton of makeup that I haven't used. Uh, Pink Candy Hearts, get a hold of me with your address. Sorry, the hand's going down. I was told today that I do this a lot for some reason in the past couple of videos. So, my hand's super glued to my side. Um, so please get a hold of me and I will send you what I don't use. Anyways, um, with those pink puffs or whatever you use for your eyeshadows and stuff like that, um, I will give you a hint. Get good quality brushes. Um, these are mud. Um, I have some Bobbi Browns. I have some um, Laura Mercies. I have... <laughs> the bare essentials okay I, I have it all but these are my main brushes um, that I actually use quite a bit so yeah you don't need anything expensive you are an amazing artist and your work seriously I know for a fact if you go ahead and make your makeup tutorials even if it's not a legitimate way to learn your subscriber list is going to go through the roof. Just don't forget about me, you know, say hi to me every once in a while or something, you know, because I'm your peep. Anyways, um, I, I'm, I've babbled and babbled and blabbled and, and everything. 
too much. Um, tell me what's going on in your world. Leave me a comment. Also, if you want to check out my main channel, it's Sunset Lover. So it's youtube.com slash Sunset Lover. Um, also, down in the doobly-doo, I will leave you all the links of my daily booth, my Facebook, my Twitter, and everything else. So if you want to contact me. Also, um, my phone number still has not changed. I do get a couple text messages from a bunch of you guys. If you want my text message phone number or my phone number to my cell number, um, just send me a private message and I will send it to you and we can talk about diet and weight loss and um, makeup or whatever. Anyways, um, till next time guys, see ya.